Okay, YouTubers, this is now my tent completed as of now. I mean, I'm sure you always find something else to do. But I just wanted to take some time and show you the setup once everything, absolutely everything is complete. Um, so let me bring it down. The newest, some of the newest stuff that I put is this uh, annex room. Um, fits two more people in there. Come in, it's pretty, pretty uh, spacious. It's intended to go if you have your uh, rooftop tent on top of your uh, car, and that way you have access through the back seat to go into the room. But I mean, since I don't have it up there, it's okay. I still have this entrance. And to get up um, my tent, you have to get into this room and then go up the stairs to go to the top. So my kids will sleep down here, I'll sleep up there with the wife. And uh, something else I added are just just these little these little lights. That way, my kids have some some type of lights down here, and those are just velcroed in. They could just come right out. Then again, go up the thing, and my tent's up there. That's gonna have his own lights as well has LEDs that um dim. Alright, out here. Something I was talking about last time is the tank with the dual setup, so I that's new. I bought these that little adapter. So I'll have my grill on one side feeding off the same tank. And the um this is a Coleman uh, stove. And there was no way I wanted to put that to make it cleaner put that in here but I found no adapter to do that so I had to um, settle and buy the, the adapter that they had but then this piece is sticking out like that but it's no big deal so it attaches to here goes down to there let's see something else I added were these little clips underneath to hold uh, to hold my uh, kitchenware when it's being used on the stove and that's just um, or my those are just these little things you get them at Home Depot or Walmart they're 3M command these little clips that you just attach there so let's see I'm just keeping condiments up here these little clips I bought them thought I was going to use them Ended up not using them, but you know, something will always happen. I'll end up finding a way to use it. So my idea was to put the uh, that canopy or that tarp over here, but then the more I thought about it, that's probably not a good idea if you're going to be cooking here and you know catch flame or whatever, and whole house comes down. So I decided not to go that route. But I'm using it more now like an awning. Um, just you know, this is a budget build. Everything here is. I think right now what I have invested is probably 1,200 without without the uh, the rooftop tent. But um, let's see something else. So so the awning I ended up putting it here. I just bought these little poles at Amazon, cheap, but they're doing the trick. Found my umbrella uh, beach umbrella hole maker that works perfect for here. So I'm gonna buy another one for the other side, and that that just attaches there but you know a little place to sit down keep yourself off the uh, off the sun it's just you know pegs on the floor this was holding it on good thing about it, I could walk right underneath it so I could stand underneath it and it's still covering me the way they're holding is these little magnetic hooks they attached here very strong magnets on them it's very hard to come out but they just I have them spaced out perfectly and they're all going into their little eye that this is signed for them, like this one. And yeah, that's it. Uh, another thing I bought was this trash a -roo. Um, Just, you know, pick up your trash after you when you're done. You know, most of these are always on Jeeps, on their rear tire. But I just put it on the tailgate of the uh, trailer. I think it's going to work fine there. Uh, for us, I don't have an electric freezer, but this is an insulated lifetime uh, cooler. 
um, mimics the Yeti a um, lot cheaper a lot a lot cheaper got them in Sam's Club for a pretty good deal I'm hearing really good really good reviews on them this particular one they updated the seal so now the seals on the lid they used to be down here but uh, supposedly it's, it's a lot better it's built in built in um, bottle opener so um, last time I was talking about these little boxes they weren't attached to them so I have this same setup they are now attached and what I keep in there are all the bungees that hold my chairs and everything else and the straps and once I put everything away then all those straps are being used then I take the uh, those little wedges wheel lock wedges whatever and I, they fit in here perfect so I just take those and put them up here um, that's the way it looks from this side let me move back a little bit without busting my butt Moving on here, real quick. This is new. This is my little fire pit. Picked this up, believe it or not, in Target. It's great. It just it's just uh, gravity dependent, so gravity holds it in little wedges. They're cut slots, so they just come out into four panels, and they they're flat. And that goes right in there, that back part right there against the wall. Great. Doesn't take up space. Um, some campsites don't allow you to do fires on the ground, so this keeps the fire outside, over, you know, above ground. And it comes with this little log, you know, um, tool to move the logs around. Then I drilled these little holes on each side, and when um, when I'm done using them, I, I uh, attach them all together. That way, it holds it in one spot. Uh, this whole annex room here goes into that little bag so it doesn't take up space at all fits all in well fits well in there last thing I did was bought this proven industry uh, lock which is probably some of the best stuff out there right now and well just a way to protect your investment after you put in all this work in here and you know you don't want some some idiot to come around and just take it all in one shot yeah, this is my camp setup. Now it is hot. I live in Florida and this terrible weather right now. But yep, this is what I'll be taking. Last thing I'm going to do, um, depending on what camp I go at, Harbor Freight, they sell this LED beam that goes, a, you know, long light that goes across. It's, you do need a, if you have electricity wherever you're camping, um, it's great. So, I don't know, I'm thinking, I have two of them, and one of them I keep in my garage just to give me a little extra light, but they just come out, so I think they'll just hang here perfectly on these little hooks. So let me just throw that in the trailer and whatever we get over there. If, if you're in a campsite that has electricity, just put it in here and it'll, they're really bright. So they'll illuminate this whole section up to over there. So I'm, I'm really considering it. They're cheap too. They're like, I mean, you could get them on a deal for like 20 bucks. So they're great. That's the other box there. Let me go to the other side over here. This was probably the hardest part. Let's <laughs> try to get that. It's still not great, but I mean, it's it's gonna do for now. Actually, I think I have to move this this one a little further out that way to make this more taut. But yeah. Well, hope you like it.